guys, naturally marked here. I don't know what the freak this just was. <sighs> hey guys, naturally marked here. Today is Mystery Monday, and normally I give you guys a another hair video so today is really gonna be a mystery this is not gonna be a hair video but I got a package in the mail and I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys so so I'm gonna just grab the box and show you guys what I have no I'm not I'm gonna tell you what I got okay so pretty much I got a portable wash machine I am going to give a story time later. But I don't want this video to be longer than what it is. So I got a portable washing machine. And I am going to do an unboxing with you guys. I got it about like three or four days ago. And it arrived before time that Amazon said that it was going to arrive. They said it was going to arrive between January 24th to the 28th. And it actually arrived today on the 22nd of January. So let me get the box. Here's the box. I may not be able to sit it on this chair. I don't know. I'm just gonna cut it open so you guys can see it. It's not heavy at all. I'm gonna leave all the information on the stats to this wash machine in the description box for you guys. I was on my way to the gym and I got a call from my office and they said, you have a big package here. I said, no way. They say, yeah, it's pretty big. Okay. It's asked to why I have this big old sweater on. Oh, wow. I hope I don't break it. Okay. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, calm the hell down. Oh my God. Look, guys. Look, guys. Okay. I need to seriously calm down. Okay. So there's nothing else in the box. And this is what the washing machine looks like. Oh my god, I've never had one of these before in my life. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I'm just trying to make sure like it's not broke or anything. You guys, this thing came with instructions, but this is a lot smaller looking. This is the spin cycle side. This thing is a lot smaller than what it looked like online just to let you guys know it smells pretty strong like it's a really strong plastic smell um here is a draining tube no this is the fill the tube to fill up the water in here and the draining tube is right here on the side i am going to probably not read the instructions because it looks pretty self-explanatory and my husband just washed clothes this morning so i am gonna stop being all stoked about this right now it looks like a toy it literally looks like a toy what's on the top of it just to show you guys really quick you have a washer timer it says soft standard it says soft standard and drain and then it says spin timer so this is the spin side and this is the washer side and just to show you guys like the inside of it really quick you guys it's like really raining outside but just in case you didn't know i do live in a fifth wheel so hints as to why I'm buying a very small washing machine but that's what the sound is so you're gonna hear rain so I'm gonna go and hook this up but this is how big it is like seriously guys like I can almost fit I can I can almost fit my hands all the way around it and I am 5'2 so 
it pretty much takes up my entire torso to my chin. It like is a little bit longer than my torso. But it's not that bad. It's not that heavy. It feels like it's about between 10 to 15 pounds. So I'm just trying to give you guys all the, the stats on it. It came really fast. So let's go hook this up. Okay, guys. Coming to you from my tiny little bat. Okay. I'm sitting on the toilet. I am. And so what? You can't see. I'm in the way. So pretty much, I put it in the the tub. Okay. So sad face. I can't fit it in this corner right here. So I'm thinking I might have the back turned like this. So when I drain it, the water is going that way. And I can see if it still can reach. Yeah. It still can reach the plug. So the machine is pretty much going to be facing backwards. So the back of it is facing you guys and the front of it is facing the opposite way. And I don't think that it will be a hassle to okay, open so it. Okay, so what I am going to show you is me just filling up the washer side of the wash machine. And I like to fill up with hot water. That's what I wash my clothes with when I go to the laundromat is hot water. So I am putting hot water in the washer side. And I also like to put my clothes soap in there after the water gets to about like halfway in the container. I don't know how much soap I pour in there. I just pour some soap in there because I want my clothes to smell good. So I'm not going to just pour a little bit of soap in there. I'm going to pour enough until I see bubbles. So once the washer side is filled up with water... I like to turn on the wash cycle to 15 and allow the water to swish around, let it get bubbly for a couple of seconds, and then I like to start adding my pieces of clothing in there a bit at a time. So here I'm just showing you, I'm throwing about three pairs of socks in the washer. I'm also going to throw two of my husband's t-shirts that he works out in in there. And I'm also going to throw one of my rain jackets into this wash cycle. Now I'm going to show you guys the sleeve just to show you how filthy my jacket is. So you can see a before and an after just to show you like this washer washes and cleans the clothes thoroughly i could have probably put about two more of my husband's t-shirts in here and probably a couple of more pairs of socks but you don't want to overfill it because you want the cycle like how the water is kind of spinning and swishing around you want that to that motion to still be in place so your clothes can get dry or washed not dry so they can get washed I like to add a little bit more water in there after I put the clothes into the wash area so that I can have a little bit more water because I put dry clothes in there so I'm pretty sure that sucked up some of the water out of the wash side. So after the whole cycle gets done washing for the 15, I put it on number 15, that's only about 6 to 9 minutes on washing, I like to drain the dirty water out then I will fill it back up with clean water put it back on 15 and let that run again for the entire cycle the reason why I drain dirty water out and fill it up with clean water is because there is a spin and a rinse cycle on a regular wash machine so I figured that this would be that rinsing part so you guys are going to see that I am going to rinse my clothes twice to get all the soap and the dirt out of it. But on the last rinse, it still looks a little bit soapy, but that's completely fine. But this is just me putting it back on 15 and allowing this to wash out the rest of the soap and the dirt.
So now we're at the end of the rinse cycle and I'm going to rinse my clothes one more time. But this time when I rinse the clothes, I like to run the water over the clothes to kind of get some of the soapiness off the top of the clothes. And then when it's rinsing for this last cycle, I like to take the clothes out of the wash and put it over into the spin cycle. You're going to see what I'm talking about, but I don't like the clothes to just drain like they're draining now. And then I'll take the clothes out and put it over into the spin. I like to take the clothes out while the bucket is still full of water. So I know that the soap and the dirt for this last rinse cycle is not sitting on the top of the clothes. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It sounds a little weird trying to describe it out loud, but you're going to see what I'm talking about. So this is the final rinse. I just turned it on for probably another two minutes to let it rinse and swoosh around. But now I'm going to open up the spin cycle side and put my clothes in there soaking wet for them to spin out and get dry. So this is what I mean. I don't like the water to drain on the top of my clothes. So I just stick my hand in there and hurry up and grab them and put the clothes over into the spin cycle so that the extra soap and the dirt that you do see don't drain off on my clothes. So after I get the clothes over into the spin cycle, I stop the washing cycle. I drain it. And then I put the spin cycle on. The neat thing about this spin cycle, you can put it on level five. It's like a level five. But this literally will dry it by the time it gets to three. You don't even need to have it on a full spin cycle for your clothes to be dry. So I put it on level five or number five and I just let it spin all the way until it stops spinning. While the spin cycle is drying my clothes, I like to take a little water and wash out the tub of the washer side just because it has like a little bit of soap and bubbles and stuff in there. I don't want that to dry up and just sit in there. I want to try to keep it a little clean. Well, mostly clean because I am putting my dirty clothes in this washer. So now that the spin cycle is completely done, I am going to remove all of the clothes and the clothes are so dry. You guys, they are not dripping wet. They are so dry. Like if you go outside and it's raining, your clothes will be more wetter than these clothes. As you can see, some of the little dark spots on there, that's what's wet. But the rest of it is dry. My jacket is super dry. Everything is super clean. Spin cycle is great. So here is that jacket, dirty, and now this is what it looks like, clean. So just a quick before and after. So after I take my clothes out of the spin cycle, I'll go hang them up by my dehumidifier in my bedroom, and they will dry in approximately 30 to 45 minutes. And just to let you guys know, this little washing machine is great for an apartment size too. If you don't like going to the laundromat, to get your clothes clean because I like my clothes to get cleaned in my house but if you have to go to the laundry mat then do what you got to do but this is a great alternative okay guys I still got my hood on from going outside but okay guys so that was my full demo and review I love it so far but today is only day one like I said over and over again if you guys want to see me wash my husband's clothes to see if his clothes are fit because he's 6'2 I'm 5'2 and his clothes is really big like his jeans and stuff so let me know if you want a follow up on if the washer and spin cycle is still doing great how long it lasts and right now I'm giving it five stars. I'm giving it five stars because for one, it was only $50, even though shipping was $10.99. Can't complain about that. For two, it came two days before the shipping date even said. Like it was supposed to come between the 14th and the 28th and it came two days earlier. So I'm super stoked about that. 
And the other reason why I give it 5 out of 5 is because the spin cycle surprised the hell out of me. I literally thought that the spin cycle was still going to leave my clothes dripping. So I was already prepared to go and get like a shower curtain or um the little you know the little the little shower rod thing to hang my clothes up to dry in the shower so if they're still dripping they can drip in the shower but there is no dripping there is no nothing this thing is so light i hate picking up heavy crap I will pick that up all day long and even with it being in the tub that's the only somewhat negative thing I thought that I was going to be able to have it sit next to the toilet so that it's just a little bit neater looking but that's just my own insanity of wanting things to be like so I can't have it so it's fine I'm not going to trip about it just as long as I don't have to go to the laundry mat and have people taking my stuff out of the washing machine pretty much that's the story you know i was gonna do a whole separate story time but i'm not gonna do that crap somebody took my clothes out of the wash and then somebody and my time wasn't even up that's the crazy thing my time wasn't even up on the washer or the dryer and they took my clothes out of the washer and the dryer and then this guy had my bra in his basket and i'm just like my clothes wasn't even done drying he was like oh i mistakenly grabbed yours i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry and then he grabbed me and gave me a hug don't don't hug me i i don't know it sounds messed up but i feel like the energy you know you can transfer energy and i really believe in that so it's just like i give you a dap up and i'm a really germaphobe type of person which was the other reason why i did not like taking my clothes to go wash them in somebody else's washer is because i'm just like mm, i know i go to the gym and wash my behind but you guys to see the crap that i go through to wash my behind at the gym like i made sure i got flip-flops on my feet never touches the floor i don't lay my stuff on nothing like nothing <laughs> i'm crazy i drive my husband insane with how much i'm like that's disgusting that's gross no 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 like don't put your clothes here like make sure your feet's not touching the floor i just don't want something to crawl up between my toes and i'm wondering why my feet is green i just don't but yeah so i'm really happy that i don't have to deal with that like you taking my clothes out of my washer and then my bra is in your basket literally true story this is a true story this is what made me have the last straw it was the last straw so i was like babe i'm getting a washer and spin cycle machine because he's like oh i'll take him to the wash i'll take him to the wash make him go and wash the clothes still and i'm at home like i'm just making youtube videos editing youtube videos i can do my share i can go i can wash the clothes you know but now my share is going to be washing the clothes here in my house because that's a dope washer and spin cycle so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know i know it was a little bit of a different style of a video that i've never done in my channel but hey hey welcome to a mystery monday thank you guys so much for watching so bye